Hey guys, and welcome to primandprep.com. If you haven't heard of us, uh, a link to our website is down below. It's all about male grooming, wet shaving information, reviews. If you're into wet shaving, definitely check it out. Yeah, there's a lot of information there that you'll love, I guarantee it. Uh, today we're going to be doing a shaving soap review. It's the very cheap, very affordable Vanderhagen Deluxe Shave Soap. Uh, they also have a premium that's a little bit more expensive and has slightly different ingredients, but this is very cheap and uh, <clears throat> if you're a beginner just getting started out, it might be a good option for you. <clears throat> also, you know, if you travel a lot, it also might uh, be another good option for you. So let's get right into it. The box that it comes in is nothing impressive. Um, and that's fine, it gets the job done. And what it comes in, it has the typical plastic container that a lot of shaving soaps come in with open uh, <clears throat> a lid that you can open up and close back down. <clears throat> I like this because it's good for traveling, it won't get in, it won't get messy, it won't get all of your other stuff messy. It preserves the soap and it's also a good little container to load out of if you don't have a specific uh, bowl to load out of, which you probably don't if you're a beginner. Um, uh, it's nice. So let's go right into the smell. Um, it smells to me exactly like baby wipes do, which uh, I'm kind of indifferent uh, on that scent. It's not my favorite scent. It's not my least favorite scent. It's definitely a clean scent, which is okay uh, for me. Uh, it's not my favorite. It's not sandalwood. It's not bay rum. It's not tequila lime or something like that and that smells delicious but it's clean and for the price you know you can't really complain about the scent too much but if you like baby wipes then perfect this is gonna be a perfect scent for you so let's get right into lo loading my brush and with me I have my best badger brush I'll just get most of the hair out and we'll begin loading Okay, so that's about how much I usually like to put on in terms of soap on the tips of my badger hairs. Um, this should produce enough lather for cl uh, three clean passes, possibly a little bit more, possibly a little bit less. So let's get right into lathering. So with me, <clears throat> I have my Edwin Jagger shaving bowl and <clears throat> I really like it because it's a nice clean black, it has a nice little knob slash handle on the side. <clears throat> Sorry guys. <clears throat> and I like using both hands to be able to lather, not just holding a bowl and using one hand, but if you control it with both hands, <clears throat> should be a little bit easier for you. So I usually hold my left, use my right hand, my dominant hand to lather up. And it has three ridges on the bottom, which is kind of cool. Helps build a little bit of lather. And I do have a little bit of water in there. So, um, let's see what we get. All right, guys. <clears throat> so here we are uh, with the final product. Produces a decent amount of lather. It's not the easiest to lather, it takes a little bit of time than some of my other premium shaving soaps and creams, but it produces a decent lather and <clears throat> this should be enough for three passes approximately. Um, cutting it close, I should have put a little bit more water in the bowl. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you know, it produces a good amount of lather, kind of has a little bit of a shine to it because if you look at the puck, it's pretty shiny. And usually if the puck or the cream is shiny, then the resulting lather will be a little bit shiny. But let me just do a little on my hand so you guys can see what it'd look like putting it on, putting it on your face. And you know, it's a little bit thinner than I'd like, but it does have a nice slickness to it. Um, <clears throat> After your first couple passes with your safety razor, um, you'll notice that there is some slickness, so you could go back and do a little bit of retouching, but um, I still recommend re-lathering. It's not the slickest, but it's relatively slick, and you can see from that shine, if you could see in the camera. <clears throat> 
Yeah, but in, as you lather it up, the whole bathroom starts smelling like baby wipes. So if you don't like baby wipes, then this is probably not the uh, scent I would go with. It uh, doesn't really label the scent, it just says it has aloe vera and shea butter. Um, it doesn't smell like either of those to me, it just smells like baby wipes. But the premium uh, does have more scents, so you can check those out. But for $2.50, that's what I got this puck for on Amazon, uh, you know, it's a deal. You get 2.5 ounces for $2.50, that's a dollar an ounce, and there's nothing cheaper uh, than that, really on the market that's pretty much as cheap as you're gonna get and it will last me like three four months tops um, because it is a smaller puck uh, but that's okay I use it as a travel thing and if you're a beginner and if you're not sure if you want to stick with wet shaving it's a good option to go with this since it's so cheap and also if you travel a lot you know if you lose it no big deal you didn't lose like a $30 shaving cream or shaving soap you lost two dollars or less so um, yeah, that's my Vanderhagen shave soap review. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it <coughs> and if it was helpful. And please check out PrimandPrep.com for more male grooming tips, <coughs> tons of wet shaving information. I guarantee you guys will like it in the description down below. And have a good day, guys.